Hi, I'm Patrick Starr. I normally don't review vehicles, but I felt obligated to review this 2011 Chevy HHR. I did not buy the car, I was given it by the rental company, which is absolutely terrible, and I would rather stick my balls in a vat of acid than ever ride in this encrusted vehicle ever again. Let's take a look. I know what you're thinking. Patrick, this car is ugly as fuck. Chevy calls it cyber gray metallic. I call it shit. In fact, let's compare this color to a piece of shit. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's the same color. Why anyone would want this color on any vehicle is beyond me. Now let's take a look at the design. At first glance, what kind of vehicle does this look like? An SUV? No? How about a fucking hearse? Yes, let's compare this ugly ass dead body transporter with the 2011 Chevy HHR. In fact, if you fold the seats down, I'm pretty sure a casket would fit perfectly inside. This shit stain looks like an uglier cousin to the PT Cruiser. As soon as you climb in and sit, you are instantly encumbered. I would feel more comfortable in a solitary confinement cell than in this HHR. Especially if there's two people in the front seat. Just by sitting there, you feel like you're invading each other's personal bubbles. Your leg hits the door when you shut it, and the glove box that's not a glove box ceases to function properly. Look to your left, instant blind spot. Look to your right, two instant blind spots. Then the front windshield is not long enough to be able to park on the white line at a light and still be able to see the light without bending down to look underneath the windshield. My first problem with this vehicle is that it's physically impossible to go fast. Handling on the highway is also insane. Something as casual as switching lanes is a chore for the HHR. When lane switching, if the wind is blowing at all, the car feels like it's going to flip over due to its poorly designed box-like shape. I don't know if this happens in all HHRs or just the one I had the displeasure of driving, but this vehicle pulls hard to the left, and fast too. If my hand leaves the wheel for a second, it's instant rumble strips for me. In conclusion, anyone who'd waste more than a dollar on the Chevy HHR would be getting a royal fucking from the person selling it to them. It's ugly, it's encumbered, and it feels like it's going to flip at any second. My advice, if you ever get this car as a rental, get the insurance and leave this car out on the train tracks.